The Kuwait Air Force's F. A-18E, F Super Hornet made its first flight integrated with Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod, ATP. Sniper ATP will be located on the Weapon Station 5, an area on the aircraft where pods or weapons attach and is expected to be fielded with the aircraft in late 2023. This integration gives existing and future Super Hornet fleets the ability to add Sniper ATP's precision targeting and surveillance capabilities, which are critical to pilot survivability. Integrating Sniper ATP onto Weapon Station 5, commonly known as the Cheek Station, brings state-of-the-art tracking algorithms, two-way data link, and many other capabilities to the Kuwait F-A-18E F crews that will positively impact the overall success of their missions, said Keenan Nelson, director of fixed-wing sensor programs at Lockheed Martin's Missiles and Fire Control. This also means that all F-A-18E F customers will have the option of a reliable, easily maintainable and modern targeting pod. To verify the mechanics of the system, flight testing with a non-operational sniper ATP was conducted at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland in March. Subsequently, flight testing with an operational sniper ATP was conducted at Naval Air Weapon Station China Lake in California in March. Both first flight tests were successful. Currently, Sniper ATP flies on both the Kuwait F, A18C, D and Canadian CF-18 Hornets. As the Kuwait Air Force transitions to the F, A18E, F Super Hornet, they will benefit by receiving the new capabilities that the latest Sniper ATP configuration provides to the Super Hornet fleet. There are currently more than 27 countries and 15 different types of aircraft operating with the platform agnostic Sniper ATP. The Super Hornet are twin-engine, carrier-capable, multirole fighter aircraft variants based on the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. The F-A-18E single-seat and F-A-18F tandem seat variants are larger and more advanced derivatives of the F-A-18C and D Hornet. The Super Hornet has an internal 20mm M61 rotary cannon and can carry air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface weapons. Additional fuel can be carried in up to five external fuel tanks and the aircraft can be configured as an airborne tanker by adding an external air-to-air -air refueling system. In May 2015, it was reported that the Kuwait Air Force was planning to order 28 F, A18E, Fs with options for an additional 12. However, in June 2015 it was reported that Kuwait was considering a split purchase between the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F, A18E, F. On the 11th of September 2015, Kuwait signed an agreement for 28 Eurofighter aircraft. In November 2016, a proposed sale to Kuwait of 32 F, A18E and 8 F, A18F fighters, armaments, associated equipment, and conformal fuel tanks was approved by the U.S. State Department and Congress was notified. In June 2018, the Kuwaiti government ordered 22 F, A18S and 6 F, A18Fs. The value of the contract was US$1.5 billion. United States. All of the aircraft were scheduled to be delivered by 2021.